All right, so this video is going to be about the time that Adam-16 tried to defame the character of Lush One by claiming that he stole from his company that he works for, which wasn't true. And I'd like to break down the facts for you guys and just let you guys know exactly what's been going on. Adam-16 sort of uh, glazed over. He sort of got away with it. Uh, but, you know, there's a new sheriff in town, and I'm not letting it slide. We're going to break the whole thing down. I'm going to be pointing out so many things, so many things that bothered me about this. And uh, the, there was a couple things that, I mean, let's just start here. Let's just start with the um, initial Instagram uh, me uh, story that Adam, see, Adam has me blocked. Adam is so afraid of me. He's so scared of point and shoot that he blocked me. So I wasn't able to, I didn't even really know what was going on until I saw it in the Reddit. And then I got on my burner and went and recorded this. But here's the deal. Adam went on Instagram and uh, was trying to stir up the Reddit by claiming that Lush was uh, stealing. And I want to play you that clip right now. Well, I'm in a little bit of a pickle. A former No Jumper employee got fired from their new position because they was stealing. And I got the receipts. Should I expose it or should I do the bigger person thing and just kind of, you know, let somebody else expose it i don't know should i should i dive deep into the murky sewers and get involved with the shit or should i be the bigger person and avoid people saying like oh look he's still obsessed he's still paying attention i mean i'm not obsessed i just had people send me receipts and you know it's super interesting to people who would realistically watch my instagram story but i don't know it's like part of me wants to be the bigger person part of me wants to be like look it was them. It wasn't me. It was them. Okay, so why would a 40-year-old millionaire who's got everything going for him, allegedly, who's got this fucking Middle Eastern wife that likes to fuck other guys more than him, if he's got all of this stuff going for him, why is he attacking Lush? Why does he want to defame the character of Lush? I don't understand. Is it because he's has a grudge against him for exposing him for being a snake and causing everyone to turn on him and, you know... Uh, see, what I'm trying to get at is Adam hates Lush. And Lush could basically give a fuck less and he's like moved on with his life. He's like totally like doing his own thing. He's not even on Adam's, doesn't even care about Adam. I haven't even seen or heard from fucking Lush. Okay. And so for Adam to do this, it really shows how obsessed he is with Lush. The uh, hatred, he's overcome with hatred for Lush One because Lush One inadvertently ruined No Jumper. And it wasn't because Lush ruined a No Jumper. It was because Lush uh, accidentally exposed No Jumper. Okay. There's a big difference there. So I want to play this next clip. This is where Adam actually explains what he was told. And he thinks that this is cool to like put on a platform. Okay. So he's platforming a lie. And I want to show you that right now. Basically, let's just say that there was this guy, hypothetically. And his name was, oh, I don't know, Flush. His name is Flush. And um, he got a, a job like doing podcasts for this this company. Let's call it the sit down. And so the sit down was like you know kind of a it's not a huge operation or anything, but they they had something going on. And so Flush is actually put in charge of like paying the electric bill. And uh, you know it should be easy enough. What is it like a hundred bucks, a couple hundred bucks maybe? Uh, I don't know. I haven't paid that shit in a long time. But either way, instead of paying it because he didn't have enough money to pay it, he faked a money order. He, and he showed them a fake money order so that they would believe that the electric bill was paid. <laughs> but it wasn't. And they found out because the lights went out for three weeks. <laughs> All right, so Adam very clearly knows that he's lying because that's why he had to ambiguously say, you know, flush and the whatever he said. He, he's trying to um, say it without saying it because he knows it's not true. And so what happens next is Lush uh, responds in an Instagram story basically saying, uh, nah, fool, like I didn't fucking get fired. Like that's all cap. You feel me? Like, I, you know. and so uh, Adam responds again to that. He gets mad. And this is when he's like, oh, like, because Adam likes to go back and forth. Adam gets mad at Lush for denying it. And so he uh, uh, says he's going to expose the receipts. Okay, so watch this. I heard somebody called me a liar. Well, if I'm a liar and you're going to go on live stream tonight and explain how I'm a liar, just keep in mind that I have screenshots of the exact people that you used to be employed by telling me the exact story that I put on my story last night. So if you want to call me a liar, that would be amazing. Because do a whole stream, talk about how I'm a liar, then I'll post the screenshots proving I'm not a liar. It'll be hilarious. It'll fucking credibility up even more. 
Come on. All right, so I don't quite understand how stupid Adam could possibly be at this point in his life. He's 40 years old. He can't even fucking read. Lush clearly said uh, whatever is being said about him is a lie. He didn't say Adam 16 is a liar. Okay, you fool. Adam, you're so stupid that you like don't. This is why you got owned is because of your stupidity. Okay, and your cuckoldery uh, to boot. So uh, Adam's very stupid. He doesn't even know what Lush is trying to say. Lush is trying to make a peaceful statement saying that things that are being said about him aren't true. He didn't call Adam a liar. Okay. And so Adam's premature and stupid handling of the situation would come back to bite him in the ass and expose himself as a fucking moron. And so what Adam does next is he has Flacco handle the call on the news to uh, the person that's accusing Lush of this, uh, uh, this nonsense. So we all remember the time on No Jumper when Lush took the call from Flacco's old friends from uh, Darby, Pennsylvania, where Flacco hails from. I was with you in 7 I was with you in 7 all the way to Tom Brady, bro. I was with you in 7 days. I was with you in 7 days. Bro, wait, wait, bro, 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 b
It was pretty steep because you got to remember it was summer, bro, and it gets hot out here in Santa Clarita, so we had that AC blast steam. So it was a we little talking bit. talking a thousand plus? Yeah. yeah probably With your yeah, thousand plus. Yeah, we're, we're talking about a thousand. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, wait. Does wait. He, I, does, he he agree with this, wait. does he agree with this? Does he agree with his coworkers me. telling telling Adam about it? Okay. So who the fuck are these street walking skid row fucking street level prostitutes? I mean, this is who the fuck are these two? Okay. This is an atrocity having these two on camera. Let's continue. Well, uh, I, I heard that about. Is it cool? I mean. We we knew we were kind of warned ahead of time, and we kind of just took it for face value and kind of gave Lush the chance and opportunity. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He tried to so give him the like, benefit of the doubt, and then he just pissed y'all y'all off. Y'all like all gloves off. Is he it. still employed yeah, we, we at were, the we Papa? Didn't, we didn't we didn't we didn't fire him or anything. Yeah, it was that's... kind of like a, like he just got busy and kind of moved on, and you know what I mean. <laughs> That's really all it really was. He didn't fire him or anything. He just got kind of busy and moved on. What? That's fucking crazy. It's, let's cut back to what Adam said. Former No Jumper employee got fired from their new position because they was stealing. Got fired. Got fired. Got fired. Got fired. Got fired. We didn't fire him or anything. So he didn't get fired. He didn't steal. The lights weren't off for uh, more than a couple of days. It's none of this is a big deal, but it's really funny that uh, no jumper ran with this as like a big story. Adam reported this on his personal Instagram account. And so Adam has been made a fool of by Lush once again. Lush dismantled No Jumper. He wrecked Adam's crew, which I commend him for. And uh, he's continuing to make problems for Adam. And Adam brought this on himself, which makes it so much sweeter that Adam did all this and it blew up in his face and made him look so stupid. His whole crew looks stupid. He looks stupid. I'm having a great time making this video. You know, it was just a really, really special thing that happened. All right. So this next clip will reveal the fact that Lush isn't even an employee of this place and that he just said he would pick up one of the bills just like as a casual how you doing like i'll help you oh well it's all help out it's a collaboration so lush isn't an employee so how do you get fired adam you stupid son of a bitch he didn't get fired he, never, he, he was never like hired bro like i said it was just him yeah a, a, a little uh collaboration well, we from each other we let him use the studio yeah. he pays one of the bills Okay. 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 Can, I mean, can, that was really it. Can he used to be employed by it. used to be employed by it. used to be employed by it. He, he was never like hired, bro. Can he use the studio anymore? Uh, I say no. Rick's the final say in it all, bro, to be honest. Okay. Oh, Rick, we just asked. Yeah, Rick picked up. Rick's picking up most of the bills right now, so he has the final. So pick. these fucking guys are just like fishing for anything. Is he allowed to use the fucking studio? Is he even a fucking? You know, is this even a problem? Still, you know what I mean? It's just so pathetic. And so it would turn out that this was all just a publicity stunt and that the guy that was making up all this stuff about Lush just wanted a publicity stunt, as you can see here in this uh, Discord uh, screenshot. So Adam was fooled. He was made a fool of. He looked so stupid. That's why he deleted the post and never spoke about this again. He was so mad that Lush tallied up another W over him and made him look so stupid. And uh, another thing, Adam, you got to get the hair done again, brother, or just go bald. But this looks ridiculous. You, you I mean, you're, you're supposed to say, I mean, you, you, you think you look good on camera like that? God, I don't know. You know, they're really talking about it in the Reddit, like how goofy your hair plugs look. This looks like a 1980s hair plug job to me. So uh, do something about that, you know, uh, and and you should be okay. But Jesus Christ, this looks bad. Anyways, that's going to do it for the video. I do have another video coming up right after this. I'm going to be talking all about Adam's body and his face and his appearance and, uh, and corn. And it's going to be a very disrespectful piece, and I hope you're all in attendance. So with that, I bid you farewell, and I thank you for watching. Please hit the like button, guys. I promise I'll drop more if you hit the like button more. That's a, I, I, that's a promise. That's a point-and-shoot guarantee. So with that, uh, I thank you again, and I'll see you on the next one.